Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenralf here. I only get a little bit longer, just a, what, about a month left to play Cavalcade in Standard, so now's as good a time as any. The quest for today is just simply to attack with 30 creatures, and that is extremely easy to do with this deck, so I'll give it a shot, I'll give it a go. Have a little bit of coffee, just a little bit, to, uh, to get me through this, and I will need it. I will need the caffeine. Ooh. <laughs> I say a little bit because I had quite a bit of it just trying to set up. Speaking of caffeine, there's a there's a letter off. All right, so this looks fine. There's one creature in the deck that isn't naturally going to come with one power, and it's in my hand right now. So let's get Spitter out here for the tiny little bit of extra damage. Aha. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. As you do, I suppose. Okay. And NX, by the way, while we're here, will be a 3-3. Three, three. Aha! Please be the mirror. Well, I mean, they can attack with... Oh, they're not, though. Okay, cool. Let's go make some Chandra shenanigans first. That seems about right. There we go. And hit with not the first strike creature, actually. Oh, oh, well, this thing can go unblocked anyway. I think that that's okay. We'll try it out. They could play a hasty creature and punish me for doing that, but even so, we'll still get a little bit of extra damage in with Chandra, and next turn we'll play a creature that does not have haste. Oh, at me. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. Light up the stage. That makes sense, actually. Uh, the post-combat fervent champion. That's unfortunate. Oh, but two of them. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's that's a lot of fun. That's not great. Okay. Well. play Dodger here, or Cunning? Dodger has haste. Cunning can't block, but I'm not going to be doing a lot of blocking here anyway. You'll see, Grim Initiate can block one. Annex can block the other. Let's see. Wait a minute. Let me read this again. Non-token creature. Not that this thing can block regardless. That's okay. So we'll do this. We'll fire this off. Um, no point in attacking, I suppose. We'll just throw a loyalty counter on for now. I believe you. I'll bet you do, Chandra. Oh no, not again. Great. Okay. Okay. Well then. So let's see. Initiate here, of course. Annex here, Dodger here. So these two have first, both have first strike, so they'll take out each other. This will actually take out Annex and create two tokens. Yeah, this is fine. Alright, so there we go. This is still not great. Uh, not great at all. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's the only... Oh, boy. Let's see. Alright. Oh, how do I claw my way out of this one? At the very least, they will attack. There's no point in their not attacking. They'll block one, take one, go to 16. Alright. 
now. <sighs> okay, Spitfire. Oh, great. Oh, great. Yeah, that's not good. Wait a minute. They can't block. This is terrible. None of them can block. Well, okay. Um... I can try to find another creature, another few creatures, I can try to take on Torbrin. Yeah, that hurts. Alright, here goes nothing. Let's see, can I... Let's say that they don't cast anything. Somehow. Can I actually win on the next turn? I don't think so. This is 3, 7, 10. So they would need to cast actual, factual nothing. Oh, they just went into combat. Shock. No, okay. No, there has to be some... There is something else after this. There has to be. Another. Okay, so they have a blocker. That's not enough. Okay, okay. Uh, that felt... I, I guess I just got really lucky. Or, actually, they got unlucky. <laughs> That's how that happened. I didn't get lucky. They got unlucky. Oh, hey, little buddy. Hey, dude. <laughs> I thought I had, like, a crumb on my... No, I had a bug. Just chilling. Just chilling out, Max, and relaxing all cool. I'll try to play to four wins if I can. Coffee, keep me going. Oh, hi, Nissa. I... Hmm, how to pronounce that? Hmm. Looks like... I don't know. Let's see. I mean, this is, this is fine. It has a one-drop. Effectively, if I attack, it has uh, two one-drops beyond that. And then Scampering Scorcher. It's not exactly gas, but it's definitely keepable. I'll take it. Alright, well, obvious play is obvious. Tell my opponent hello. Apologies for the 720p. I'm hoping that this will make the... will make it capture more frames. When I have it at 1080p, it seems to drop a few. I'm hoping that this will help. Maybe. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Alright, so let's attack. By the way, Ketria. So, since this is standard, that's... There's a number of things that could be. Alright. Ooh, okay. Banneret. I have a sneaking suspicion that we won't see a lot of creatures out of them, though. So that lava coil might not do much. Yeah. Alright, so it can't be fires. Is there a standard Sanctum deck? I know that there is an historic. There most definitely is an historic. Yep, okay, this is it. Alright, well, fair enough, I suppose. In that case, let's just get our beats on as quickly as we can. Alright, there we go. Um, maybe Spitfire would have been better for the speed kill, especially given that. Holy crap. Uh, that's, that's not great. That's not good. Okay, so if I go for Spitfire next, I still don't have a way to actually buff the Spitfire, though, other than the one skewer in hand. So maybe it's better to go Banneret Scorch Spitter. So I, if I could, uh, if I had one more land, I could go Spitter Spitfire. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Eleven, fire the skewer, eight, and then that's seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Okay, so we have lethal next turn if we fire the skewer here. And it is a sorcery, so I kind of have to. Now, that said, let's see what they get, because this sanctum happens on upkeep, and the newer sanctums have a main phase trigger. So, I mean, I'm, we're not out of the woods just yet. The fact that we have two bannerets here is is really useful because I'll be if they deal with one, I can... Oh, okay. Still have something with the other. Oh, boy. Okay, so they drew three, discarded one. Aha, that's the one I was worried about. Wait, what? Okay, well, no, that's fine, that's fine. Alright. Oh, that hurts. Alright, please have a land then, so I can play Scorcher. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, it's looking bad, folks. Because the next time they... Wow. Okay, so that escalated quickly. Seven. Alright, Spitfire. Please survive. It's not going to. I should have just played Initiate, because at least that one will live. Yeah, now we're in trouble. We need... What could get us out of this? Hmm. What? Ah, uh, that's game. Oh, that's very much game. Holy crap, that's game. Jeez, they all have lifelink. Well, I'll attack just to... Well, actually, I don't necessarily need to attack to proceed the quest. Alright, tell them good game, and then... Oh, hello, audio. And then check the audio. You know what? Actually, let me fix that while I'm at it. And now I'll concede. There we go. <laughs> okay. Well, that happened. We're just a bit too slow. A, a turn too slow. Mono red too slow. Hmm. Against a deck that didn't have creatures with which to block. Until it was too late. Ready. I pet. Okay, I can say that. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this actually ha actually has Cavalcade Spitfire. 21 lanes in the deck. Decent shot, we'll get another one. He says as he jinxes it. Okay. Well, what's the way to go here? Since I don't have the extra mana, I guess I'll just fire off Initiate. I don't have the extra mana to get through the Grazer this turn. So I'll just play something that can't attack anyway. Grim Initiate is, I think, the best worst card in this deck. <laughs> uh, let's see. In a more efficient list, it would get cut. I don't see how that would not be the case. Uh, generally, it makes more sense to play out more creatures. Um, hmm. But I would... Uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Let's play out more creatures, then. Alright. Hitting for two. Yep, there we go. Hiya. And pass turn. Please find another land. Please? Please find another two lands, actually. That would be nice. There is a side of me that... Well, okay, no, it's not. It's Teferi. That's okay. There's a side of me that really, really wants it to be land destruction. It's kind of my shtick. Okay. So now we have a choice. No, we don't. We're, we're good on this. We're good on this. Unfortunately, we have to use... We can only play Cavalcade. No matter what they phase out, though... Uh, you're dead, bud. You're dead. No, no, that's not true. That's not true. They can actually do this such that Teferi lives because they have a blocker and they can phase one creature out. No, no, that's wrong, because phasing requires three. Yeah, let's just get, let's just make sure we get him. So they'll draw a discard. Hmm. I don't have time for it. I betcha. 
Are you not going to... Okay. There it is. There it is. Alright. I don't necessarily feel great about this game, though. They just did a lot of selection. Granted, they used up... Well, four mana. Time's up. Oh, boy. Oh, hi, Nissa. Please, please find a land so I can skewer this stupid island. Please? Please? Okay. Here goes. Yeah, okay. That works. <sighs> okay. So this, she's at six. It's not going to be quite enough to kill her. Get her to one, and then Grazer does its job. Well, it'll be three, Grazer does its job, she takes two. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I guess we did just destroy land, but they're still working with seven mana before a land drop. Well, actually nine, because of exactly what you're seeing right here. Yeah, duh. Oh. You know, we can't beat that. Unfortunately, we cannot beat that. I don't know what you wanted me to tell you. We can't beat that. Let's keep playing, though. Even though we've hit our quest, let's keep playing a bit. I don't get this deck for too much longer, so might as well. Surprisingly, I don't think I've seen anyone make fun of the way that I, I hold the uh, hold the cup like this instead of like you're supposed to. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Oh, give them the hello after they finish the scry. There we go. Hey. Let's do Spitter first. Get out that extra little bit of damage. Mystic, okay. Well, that's always unfortunate to find. Huh. Yeah, this is annoying. This is really annoying. A 2-2 two -two on curve is annoying for this deck. It's not to say we can't do something about it, it's just annoying to deal with. Alright, hit them for one. Only one. Maybe I should have gone Banneret Dodger. Or Banneret Seder actually would have made more sense, because neither of those have haste. It probably wasn't worth the one damage, especially since next turn playing Chandra means I'll end up foregoing, uh, oh hi, oh no, oh no, it's tutelage mill, okay. The good news is, we'll soon be able to actually deal with that thanks to Lava Coil. That's the good news. Alright, so they block one, take one, they have 18, and this is super slow. I will... If it attacks me... Uh, I would be giving up Chandra if I let this... Oh, uh, okay. Excellent time. Hmm, okay. And that is whenever you draw a card, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Good times. Oh, find all the lands, bud. Well, I mean, I guess joke's on them. No, Teferi keeps me from doing this. Joke's on me, actually. Remember this one? Oh my goodness. I swear. I swear. Huh. <sighs> okay, then. Joke's on me, as it turns out. Yo. Well, let's just play the whole hand out then. Hmm. Okay. So I can set Courier to make Scorch Spitter able to attack to take out Teferi now. I don't know that that's really necessary though. Because, oh, uh, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, dear. Yeah, I, I goofed. I goofed. In my defense, I gave up one damage. Unfortunately, that means that Teferi gets to live. That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> I, I forget. This does not let you cast it at some point during the turn, like, uh, Jace... Uh... Not Vryn's Prodigy, but the other side. Telepath Unbound. Okay, that's good. It's not something that lets you cast it at any point later in the turn. Know thy deck, folks. Know thy deck. I've played with Chandra enough, I should have known that. I've played against Teferi enough, I should have known that. Uh, people complain about this card. I don't like, I don't dislike it so much, but it does create some weird interactions. People talk about getting this thing banned in standard, well, it's too late for that. Getting it banned in legacy, whatever, no. This is, this is a fine card. Trust me, I have a plan. Oh, oh, hello. Non-land, non-token permanent, if they can't, they just go. Oh, wow. Okay, so the rule here is non-land, non-token. Okay. Uh, Courier. Yeah, it's, it has to be Courier. Ooh, no, 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 no. Let that resolve, and that's the one I'll sack. Okay. I mean, it took me forever, but I got there. Finally. Alright. Hey, these little guys are great! Sure are. Hmm. One, two, three, four, those are the only ones with which it's safe to attack. Yes, I did forgo using the, the pump there, I should have. That was, that was incorrect to me. If I'm going to attack with it, I might as well have pumped it anyway. So, yeah, I, I, I goofed. I goofed. Okay, that's fair. Well, I mean, what else am I going to use it on? Yeah, so we're just slowly ticking down here. Let's see. There's a cavalcade. Okay, so now what? Oh boy. Oh boy.
Well, okay. Yes, it resolves. Uh, I'm sorry, wait, what was the rest of this? If they can't, so I actually have to. I do actually have to, then. In that case, we go for Spitter. Unfortunately, we do. Oh, my goodness. We're gonna have to take Chandra next, it looks. Don't worry. I brought company. Alright. Activate ability. Cool. Activate ability. Cool. Alright. Mentor, give it to you. Alright. So. Oh, okay. Fair enough. And then for my next trick, I guess just two lands. Yeah, just attack the Chandra, please. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this is each player's upkeep. However, the benefit is not uh, symmetrical. In other words, if they can't, I don't get to draw a card and then gain two life and all that jazz. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't mean to do you that. Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh no. Well, now... Hmm. Okay. That's a tiny problem. A little bit. Now I only get to go swing in for two this turn. <laughs> I guess I could swing with both of these, but geez, I wonder which one they'll take. Okay. So what are they going to sack? Because they do have to. Okay. Oh, okay, that, that makes sense. I'm a little too far away for Teferi to get them there. And at any point, they could just sack Doom Foretold. Yeah, you better not attack. Okay. Um... Jeez. Okay, I can get them to five. What do I need to get for any further than that? Maybe I just keep the banneret and force them to block? Yeah, that, that's the answer, isn't it? Keep the banneret and force them to block. Or that, I suppose there is that. Yeah, no, no, we just do it. They have no cards in hand. I just pump this up to a 7 power creature, force them to block, they'll have to sack Doom Foretold, and then we're out from under its oppressive thumb. Let's go to combat. Yeah. Alright. I am actually tempted to do it again. Just, I don't know, just in case there's a trick I'm missing, we'll do it again. Alright. There they go, they have to sack Doom Foretold. <sighs> okay, we got by without the opponent getting to draw any extra cards or gain any extra life. And they did it again. Which means they got to draw a card and gain two life and get a token and all that jazz. Oh, and we had to discard. Discard, discard. Well, okay then. I, I guess there is that. Please don't. Yeah, just Vigilance. Okay, they will gladly make that trade. And I will do this. Doesn't really matter. Shock. Probably should have diversified it, though. Actually. Okay. Good news, we have an endless stream of satyrs. Okay, we won! That was... I don't know how, 
but we won. We got there. As I have no more coffee. The last drop. Okay. Um, you know, we'll keep playing it, sure. Why not? I just need two more. Two more wins. Stay awake. Stay awake. Hyper. I have played Hyper before. Okay. Now, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Creature, removal spell, calamity, Chandra. We're in, we're in great shape. And enough mana to use all of them. It works. It looks like a Dark Souls. Like, it has the, the bolts, it has the sword, it has the green blossoms on the side, armor. It's a Dark Souls character. Oh, boy. Well, um... I'll, I'll risk it. I'm gonna bet that they don't have another... Oh, wait a minute, you idiot. That thing has lifelink. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. I swear, do you have it? No, they don't. That's a weird sequence if they had it. Okay. Well, I guess let's just do them dirty, right? Spitfire. Okay. And then on the next turn, we'll have Chandra. And uh, we'll just activate it a bunch. Go for the... Ah, uh, wait, which one? Which one? Interesting. That is the right choice, but that is interesting. It's better than having I mean, to be fair, a turn three kill, that's, that's nothing to laugh at. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Cool. Cool. We'll let next turns land drop or no land drop determine what we do. Oh, hi. Now it's a 2-2 two -two with lifelink. Oh. And vigilance. And you're gonna get burned. Yeah, you sure are. You sure are, hon. Let's see. Blow it up. Don't worry. I brought my we can do this. We can do this. We're not in too bad a shape. I mean... Oh, alright. Interesting. Light it. Light it up. And kill it. Ooh, okay. We actually didn't even have to do that. We could have waited to use the shock. It's, it's fine. Okay, so that's three. Just one more, and we'll be okay. Fun fact, I can touch every point on my back. I can actually, I think I've shown this on camera before, but I can lock my hands together while we're waiting on a game. Just, just do this, just uh... <laughs> this part's weird though. I'm, I'm having fun. I'm I'm having entirely too much fun playing this. Whew, okay. So here's something that I, I don't understand. Threshold is a mechanic that's apparently pretty high on the storm scale, which is to say it's unlikely to see printing in um, in a standard legal set. It's extremely unlikely apparently. It seems that some of this is because the card was apparently difficult for people to understand because whether you have seven cards in your graveyard is something that, that players would intuitively not think excludes the card that's on the stack. That being the case, if that's true, the escape requires that you have, you know, in this case it's two cards in addition to the Satyr's Cunning being in your graveyard. It seems like it would have that same issue with the understandability. Don't get me wrong though, I'm glad they did not go that route. Alright. 
I like escape as a mechanic, even if some of the cards, like Ox, are just obnoxious. Arcanist again, okay. <laughs> Hold up, negate. No, no, we're just shocking it now. I mean, I guess it works. You do you. Coil it. Play it out. Hit him for four. And regular damage. And play out the initiate. And this this game looks okay, though we have officially run out of gas. We've run out of cards we can play other than the cunning. Which will be nice. Okay. Oh, this is uh, Phoenix shenanigans too. And Stormwing Entity, because of course it is. Okay, well then. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. We could actually attack with the Initiate as well for the extra point. Is it necessary? So we swing here, they go to nine. If we swing with Initiate, they go to 8. We play Spitfire. Still have another creature out. No, it doesn't It doesn't actually matter. Let's play it safe. And there that is. Now, that's not to say they can't kill it. Of course they can. It's an Arcanist deck. But, you know, Shock is a one-drop. Whatever Lightning Strike is not. What lightning strike does... Okay, that, I was about to say, what lightning strike does this deck run, but that's my answer. It, it's unsummon. I, I will do this to you until the day I die, opponent. I apologize. I know that must be getting annoying. Alright, and then they're, they're dead next turn unless they can kill a creature. Because just from the cavalcade damage, we'll have them. So hopefully, yeah, we got there. We got there. So this silly budget deck, <laughs> the, the deck in its optimal form would still be budget, but, you know, it's working. I guess the Fervent Champions and, what, the Chandras make it a little more expensive, though I think Chandra came in one of the pre-con decks for this. Uh, I will play some more Jumpstart, and how much does this cost? It doesn't. Okay, so I guess I know what I'll be doing next. Uh, Evangeline will get to pick which deck I play, and personally, I hope she picks Wizards and Dragons. I think there's a decent chance she might, uh, but more likely she's going to pick Dinosaur Archaeology because it has a dinosaur on it, and she loves dinosaurs. Uh, second goes to Well Read Dogs because it has a dog on it, and I guess the honorable mention here is plus one Doctor because it has feathers, and she almost picked feathered friends for me last time when we when she was picking. So, But I'm, I'm betting it's going to be dinosaur archaeology, which I'm okay with. I am perfectly alright with this if it ends up being that way. Galta to OP, please nerf. No, actually, please don't. And uh, that's it for this episode, this silly little episode. T1 Glistener Elf, signing off. Uh, take care, magic community, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. It it, 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 wait, 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 wait. One more thing, one more thing. One more itsy bitsy teeny weeny little thing. If you would like to see me play Cavalcade in Historic, please send me your deck list because I have no idea how to do that at all. <laughs> I think it'd be interesting to do it. I want to get some more use out of the card. I don't think it makes the cut in Historic, but I would like to be wrong because it's a fun card to, to brew with. It's a fun card to play with. Alright, now, take care everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>